بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ایشان وین ایور وی ٹاک اباؤٹ آف اے پاور پلانٹ ہیٹ ریٹ از دا ٹرم دیٹ از کامنلی یوز ان روٹین ڈسکشن آن پلانٹ سائٹ اینڈ ان انڈکشن انٹرویوز ریلیٹڈ ٹو پاور جنریشن سیکٹر واٹ از دا ہیٹ ریٹ آف اے پاور پلانٹ ہاؤ اٹ از کیلکولیٹڈ واٹ از دا ڈفرینس بٹوین نیٹ ہیٹ ریٹ اینڈ گراس ہیٹ ریٹ واٹ از دا ریلیشن بٹوین ہیٹ ریٹ اینڈ ایفیشنسی In this video, all these concepts will be explained in such an easy and simplest way. Let's start the session from a simple definition of a thermal power plant. A thermal power plant is an entity that converts heat energy of the fuel into electrical energy. In a thermal power plant, we use fuel as an input factor to the power plant and taking electrical energy as output from the system. So in very simple words, heat rate is the factor that shows how efficiently a power plant converts the heat energy of the fuel into electrical energy so heat rate is the ratio of input to output in other words heat rate is the amount of fuel energy consumed to generate per kilowatt hour of electrical energy so if the value of heat rate is less it means that its efficiency is higher because less energy of fuel is required to generate per kilowatt hour of electrical energy we will understand and discuss these statements when we will do an exercise of heat rate calculation at the end heat rate formula from the discussion so far we can write the heat rate formula as the ratio of fuel energy input to the electrical energy output value of fuel energy input will be obtained from the product of fuel consumption in tons per hour or kilograms per hour with its heating value in kilojoule per kg or BTU per pound. Use of lower heating value or higher heating value in heat rate calculation depends upon as agreed in the power purchase agreement. So final shape of heat rate formula is the ratio of the product of fuel consumption with its heating value divided by the power output. Net heat rate and gross heat rate. two types of power obtained from the power plant one is the net power and other one is the gross power total power produced at the generator terminal is called gross power means it is the total power generation of the plant net power is obtained by subtracting house load of the plant from gross power house load is basically the in house power consumption that is being used within the plant for the operation of pumps motors and different auxiliaries so when net power will be used in the heat rate formula the result heat rate will be net heat rate and when the gross power will be used the outcome will be the gross heat rate heat rate and efficiency once we have the value of heat rate it can easily be converted to its efficiency numbers Concept of heat rate and efficiency is nothing but simply the conversion of engineering units. Normally, this is the term that power plant colleagues usually misinterpret. Units of heat rate are normally in the form of kilojoule per kilowatt hour, BTUs per kilowatt hour, or it can be also in the form of kilocalorie per kilowatt hour, depending upon the system which we follow. For conversion of heat rate to figures of efficiency. we need to remember the unit conversion of kilowatt hour to kilojoules or BTUs. 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3600 kilojoules and in terms of BTUs it is 3412.1 BTUs. If our resultant value of heat rate is in SI units then we will divide 3600 with the value of heat rate to get its efficiency numbers. And if the heat rate will be in BTUs per kilowatt hour then the value of 3412.1 will be used in the numerator. Let's now realize all concepts that we have discussed so far in the form of a sample calculation of a thermal power plant. A power plant has a gross power output of 100 megawatt. Its net power output is 95 megawatt. The balance of 5 is the house load of the plant. The fuel consumption is 47 tons per hour. with its heating value of 18,500 kJ per kg. Now we have to calculate the numbers of net heat rate, net efficiency, gross heat rate and gross efficiency. 
putting the values of fuel consumption and heating value and dividing it with the net power, we will get the heat rate of 9153 kilojoules per kilowatt hour, which is the net heat rate of the power plant. Now for calculating the net efficiency numbers, 3600 will be divided with the value of net heat rate 9153, which will give the efficiency numbers. For calculating the gross heat rate, we will use the value of gross power in the denominator and the answer will be in gross heat rate. For calculating the gross efficiency, again 3600 will be divided by the value of gross heat rate to get the gross efficiency. In these calculations, we have used the value of 3600 for calculating the efficiency numbers because units of the heat rate are in SI units, means kilojoule per kilowatt hour. If the value of the heat rate will be in BTUs per kilowatt hour, then we will be using 3412.1 instead of 3600. Now just recap the figures of heat rate with efficiency. In the first case, value of heat rate is higher, mean more energy in the form of kilojoule is required to generate 1 kilowatt hour of electricity. So its efficiency will be lower. Whereas in the second case, lower the value of heat rate showing good efficiency numbers because we are generating per unit of electricity by utilizing less energy of the fuel. That was all about today's session. If you find this video beneficial and informative, please do subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Keep connected for more stuff like that. Thank you.